Hi, I am Dr. Viveka Kumar, Principal Director of Cardiac Sciences and Chief of Cath Labs, Pan Max Healthcare. I am based at Max Super Specialty Hospital, New Delhi, Saket. Most of the heart diseases are concerned, you know, th are thought of as coronary artery disease or what we call ischemic heart disease. So whenever the heart muscles are not getting adequate blood supply because of the narrowing or furring of the heart arteries, then it is something which decreases the blood flow to the heart muscle and causes chest pain, heart attack and angina. Like for example, this is the model where you can see the heart is there and these are the arteries which are on the outer surface of the heart muscle which is called epicardial coronary arteries and they keep on supplying the heart muscles. So they are very tiny, they would be anything from you know 1.5 millimeter to 5 millimeter. So that's a small size, but they are very important for the life and survival of the patient. So if we see coronary artery disease, mainly the seeds of blockage start in our body by the age of 19 or 20, we call it adolescence. And if you see the cartoon diagram, this is the normally the artery should be nice and clean. If you can see here, there is no blockage. The endothelium is seen. This is a cross-section cut open artery. So then as the risk factors increase, or the patient has diabetes, high blood pressure, strong family history, high cholesterol, then they start getting deposition of the fat or cholesterol within the artery. So these yellow things are something like a fat deposition or blockage in the artery. So you can see clearly the artery has got deposition of the fat and the lumen gets narrowed. So the blood flow will become less and less. And whenever there is a sudden clot formation on this because of any insult, even smoking, acute stress, even COVID infection, any inflammatory condition can bring it on and it suddenly occludes, then the acute heart attack happens. If it is slowly progressing to 70% or more than that in diameter, then it causes chest pain on exercise. So this is called chronic stable angina. And when the pain frequency increases, then we call it unstable angina, which is a preceding to heart attack or acute coronary syndrome. The arteries which supply the heart muscle, they are called coronary artery. And they are three in numbers, main coronary arteries. One on the right side, like you can see in this cartoon, that the right side artery, they go on the right side of the heart. Then there are two on the left side, one the anterior, we call it left anterior descending artery and then the obtuse marginal or left circumflex artery. So three main arteries are there. In 85% of people, all three arteries are big enough. So we call it dominant right coronary circulation. And in 15% of the population, the right artery is very, very small, minuscule, and left circumflex is big and LAD is big. So that is called left dominant system. It is part of the aging process that the coronary artery disease happens. Naturally, if the person is 75 years plus, then we expect that age related blockage in heart arteries would happen. But if it is happening at a younger age, less than 60, less than 50 or less than 40, then we call it, it is a lifestyle disorder. And some people would have genetic predisposition. So if both the parents are having heart disease, then the likelihood of having heart disease in the, you know, uh, offspring, both the, you know, whether the male child or female child, they would have heart disease at a younger age group. You know, many, almost 20 risk factors have been identified, but major of them are, we call it acronym of 6S, means first is smoking. Smoking is the biggest risk factor. Then second S is sugar. High sugar or diabetes would cause increased risk of heart disease and even sugar intake will increase the heart disease. Then the person who have got stress, those who have got less sleep, those who have got sedentary lifestyle. So those who are not doing, you know, eight to 10,000 steps in 24 hours, there the heart disease is more. So sedentary lifestyle is now considered to be smoking equivalent and adequate amount of sleep. So people who do night duties, they don't sleep properly, they don't get adequate rest. There also the heart disease is very common. Stress has really been shown to be a big risk factor. So I think these are the combination of risk factors which increase the risk of heart disease multifold and most importantly they are the cause of heart disease or acute heart attack in people less than 50 years of age so we need to know the ways and means how do we diagnose it the simplest of the test which is there is 
electrocardiogram or ECG of the patient which is very easily available. So a slightly better test is echocardiography where we do the, it is an specialized ultrasound of the heart where the all the walls of the heart is seen whether they are moving or not. So we, if you look at the heart disease, we do a preventive to treatment so that we don't expect the heart disease to progress farther. So if they have got angina and the new onset of symptoms or those who have got risk factors like diabetes, high cholesterol, then we treat with the cholesterol lowering medications. We control the blood pressure. If the diabetes is there, we control with diabetes. And if the beginning of blockage or angina is there, we give the blood thinners also. So if you look at the cornerstone of treatment for coronary artery disease, it is the antiplatelet that is uh, aspirin and one other blood thinner plus statin which is the cholesterol reducing medicine. And this has shown to decrease the risk of cardiac event significantly. So if you prevent the heart disease from coming to you, that will be the best possible thing. And that has a lot of things to do with our lifestyle. So if you can better our lifestyle, and as I said in the beginning, that 6S in our life should be removed. So if you decrease the blood pressure by 10 millimeters of mercury, you will have decrease in heart attack by almost twice. So 20% reduction would be there. Acute heart attack comes down significantly. But if the person has got stage beyond the moderate disease where they have got severe narrowing of the heart diseases then we give them you know we do a diagnostic test which is called angiography which can be done by CT coronary angiography or the gold standard is you know invasive coronary angiography where through the radial artery from the hand or the groin artery femoral artery we take a direct you know catheter and do a selective angiography of the heart arteries and that picks up whether the blockage is there or not. If the blockage in the main artery is more than 70%, so if you can see these blockages, if they are more than 70%, then we need to put a stent. So we balloon it and then this is the mesh-like structure which is mounted on the balloon and we blow it up so that it gets opposed to the heart arteries and it also has you know, drug coated on that so that the risk of recurrence can be decreased. It is called drug eluting stent. So we can decrease the heart attack and the cardiac complications and the death due to this. You will be surprised to know that the heart attack and cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in India and we are global capital of heart disease. And the best way to decrease the complications due to the heart disease is to control the risk factors control your diabetes, be active, get more than 10, 15,000 steps every day and the risk factors like smoking, high blood pressure, stress and lack of sleep, these things should be done away from our life so that we can decrease the cardiovascular disease death in our country.